Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more program that is how to find the twin primes. So first let us see the description and then we'll go with the implementation part. So twin prime program. So when here we need to take two inputs, two inputs and first we need to find whether two inputs are primes right then we have to find difference between two primes so which we have taken right two given primes and if the difference is 2 then we can say the two primes are twin prime numbers twin prime numbers right so clear we have to take the two inputs and first we have to find whether two inputs are primes if yes okay if yes then we have to find the difference between two given primes and if the difference is two then we can say two primes are twin primes right if they are not primes we can't find, we can't declare them as a prime numbers so the two inputs should be taken by the user itself right so here also the logic is same so we'll we'll use the one function we'll write one function and we'll call that function with the two inputs right so let us implement that one in python so first let us take some m is equal to int input enter number one and n is equal to int of input enter number two so we are taking the two numbers as a input right so after that what we have to do so we have to check whether these two numbers are primes or not if two numbers are primes we have to calculate the difference we have to calculate the difference and we need to find whether the difference is two or not so after that what we have to do we have to check if a prime of m and prime of n so that means if both are true we have to find the result okay the difference difference is equal to some uh, m minus n so we may get the negative value so simply we will write absolute function so absolute of m minus n right and based upon the difference we can declare whether they are twin primes or not so that if, if they are primes the difference should be two then only we can call it as a twin primes so if the difference is equal is equal to 2 simply we can print them as m and n are twin prime numbers twin prime numbers or twin primes in the false condition if if the difference is not 2 simply we can declare so m and n are not twin prime numbers so is the program complete no so we are checking the prime function so we have to write the prime function so we need to check the same prime function for both the numbers so that's why uh, and to avoid uh, writing twice we are just using them user defined functions define prime some x so if the function call is prime of m m will be copied to x if the function call is prime of n n will be copied to x so here you can see what we have to do so take some flag initial initialize it to zero so we have to iterate 
because we have to divide that number with 2 to x minus 1. So for i in range of 2 to x, 2 to x because x is a last uh, index in the range function. So we should not include that value, right? So 2 to x and here what we have to do? We have to check is there any factor from 2 to x minus 1. So if x mod mod i is equal to is equal to 0, that implies there is a factor. So simply initialize a flag as 1 and break. So we need not continue the process. We need not continue or we need not check for that. So outside the loop, come outside the loop, based upon the flag value, we have to declare it. So if flag is equal to is equal to 1, simply return 0. Else, else. So if flag is 1, when the flag will be 1? If there is any factor, the flag will be 1. So if there is no, not 1, if it is 0, so simply return 1. So if it is 1, automatically here 1 and here 1. So if both are true, then only the difference will be calculated. Right. So hope you understood this one. So I will execute this one and let us check. So I will go with the 3 and 5. So 3 and 5 are a twin primes because 3 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number. So we need to uh, find the difference and the difference between these primes is 2. So that implies we can say it as a twin prime. And let us take 11 and 17. So 11 and 17 are not twin primes because both are primes. Both are prime numbers, but the difference is around 6, right? So the difference is 6, not equal to 2. So that's why these two, even though both the 11 and 17 are primes, these are not called as a twin prime numbers. If, if you go with 11 and 13, so both are twin primes. And if you execute some 4 and 5, so, oh. So here we are getting 4 and 5, okay. So previously the difference value is uh, uh, 2, so it was displaying this one. So let it be, uh, let us take difference is also initially 0, okay. Let us uh, initialize difference is equal to 0 and now execute, so 4 and 5. So 4 and 5 are not twin primes. So hope you understood, previously we are getting, we are getting that 4 and 5 are at twin primes because so here we are checking the prime and if if it is true, we are calculating the difference. So once again, I am executing. So this is false. And in the previous uh, execution, the difference value is 2. So that's why we got 4 and 5 are twin primes. So I am initializing difference as 0. Right. So now we got this 4 and 5 are not twin primes. So hope you understood this one. Right. So. Uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really understood my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.